Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a go at modelling a Apple Watch inside of Maya. So I have already brought my reference images in here, so if I just unhide them, you can see what I've got. So I've got one with the screen and the strap bent round. I've also got the same, go a little for a second, protect to the side, and then I've also brought in one here. And this one is just so we can get the length of the straps as well. So I'm going to just hide those ones and if you can't remember how to bring in reference images if you just go to whichever plane you want them in go to view image plane and import image so i'm going to start with the screen first uh, and then we'll make the strap and then we use the format to sort of bend that wrap so i want to start with a cube so remember you can either grab a cube from up there go to create polygon primitives and cube or fast way is hold down spacebar go to create and then let's go to cube so we've got that in there now i'm going to zoom in a bit and i'll make this first of all the same size as that so i'm going to go to shading and x-ray just so i can see what i'm doing right click go vertex select more hit w to move and just bring it up i'm going to bring it into position i remember a box selecting so if i to just click and drag like that you see what's happening is I just selected the front vertices rather than both of them. So that's why it's important to box select. In fact, I need to grab both of those anyway. Like that. And then we're going to go to the left side. Now we'll go to the... There we go. And then let's grab vertices I'll just drag them into position like that I'm just gonna hit save so I've got it and then just turn shading off so you can see what's going on so all we've gone so far it just got that cube the shape we then want to actually start to get it into the correct shape so I'm going to select all these edges here so I'll click there hold on shift double click that will grab everything in that row so it's just grabbed all those outside edges and I'm going to go control B to bevel x-ray so we can see and then i'm gonna up that to maybe three bring that a bit tighter like that because we are gonna obviously smooth this as we go so it doesn't matter there's a little bit jaggedy there because once we've smoothed it it will be fine and then let's do the same on these sides so i'm gonna grab all the edges there but i don't want the ones in the middle so i'll hold down shift and box like those so i've got rid of them control b and then i'm gonna do the same Three. I'm going to bring it all the way in like that. Now, as you see here, these two edges are going to overlap. So I have to hit three. We've got a bit of a gap there, but we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is go to vert uh, vertices, select all those middle ones, go to edit mesh and merge. Now if I have to do it. That no longer happens. So I go to X-ray. You can see we've got the overall shape that we want. I do it basically, if you're wondering how I keep jumping back and forth like that, it's just pressing one to unsmooth and three to smooth and then hit two. That'll sort of give you this cage as well. But I jump quite a lot between one and three just to see how it's all looking. Right, first thing I'm gonna to start to do is to put in this little in-cut where the strap goes. And I'm gonna just go basically I'm gonna delete three quarters of it and just do it on one quarter and mirror it all across. So what I'm gonna do Go to left, in fact, let's, let's go. go to multi cut. I just middle mouse button clicking there just so I can connect it from the center and then just connect these up. And say on the other side. And the whole reason for doing that is just so that I can just grab all these and delete, grab that and delete. So we've just got this one quarter. So we'll basically we'll do that and we'll mirror it across. So let's come back here, go to shading and x-ray. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these faces here, go E to extrude and offset it a little bit. Then I'm going to go to Mesh and Circularize. So sorry, Edit Mesh and Circularize. And 
offset, bring it in so it's a bit smaller. So we don't need to add any more. So what we're kind of looking for as well is we haven't got any vertices that aren't sort of attached to another edge. So here they're all fine. And then let's go to off. And then what we want to do is grab a multi cut. I'm going to grab this edge. In fact, before I do that, let's just grab that and delete those. Don't need that anymore. And then we're going to grab this. Just work our way up. We'll straighten this out in a minute as well. So let's just grab this and come to there. Like that. And then what we can do if we've got any issues, just go to vertices, hit W, just straighten it out a little bit. Okay, and then what we're going to do is let's grab that. And then I'm going to hit D. I'm going to go to object mode first of all, sorry. I'm going to hit D, V so I can move my axis so it's right on my edge. And then I'm going to select it and go to mirror. Change that to object so it's closer. Mesh and combine. Vertices on those, these ones. So edit mesh. Merge, now I can delete those edges there. And then what we can do is let's grab all of these here. Control E to extrude and bring it in like that. Then let's grab these edges the internal ones as well. Control B to bevel. Let's just give it two segments. Three. So we've got nice clean edges. So now we've done that rather than having to do it again. I'm going to give it a quick save as well just so nothing crashes. So object mode again. W, I'm going to hit D, V, and I'm just going to click on that bottom edge just again so it's moved, so we mirror it. So I'm going to shift right click, go to mirror, go to object mode, and I'm going to change that to Y. And then mesh and combine. Same thing, let's get rid of these vertices here. So edit mesh, merge, and delete. So we've now got a nice clean area where our socket or our handle is going to go, our strap rather. Now let's have a look at the button. So we're going to go to the left, go to shading and x ray. And then what we're going to do is let's add edge loops there and there, go in the middle. There we go there, there. So, what we're going to do, let's drop E and offset. Just do like 0.5, is fine. Let's do that as well. Drop E and do offset. 0.5 just sets the same. Oh, no. 0 0.5, sorry. Then, if we grab these, go hit mesh and circularize. Bring that offset down a little bit, twist, there we go, then if I turn off x-ray, 
So I'll go to that multi-cut again and just connect these up. And then get rid of some of the extra edges we don't want. So I'm not going to need these. And we're not going to need these. When you do this well, if you don't control and delete, it gets rid of any vertices attached to it. So I go and vertex now you see if i hadn't done control and backspace or the control and delete there'd be a random vertices sort of dotted around there which is what we don't want okay i'm going to leave that for now let's come up here and do this one so let's grab here control e offset edit mesh circularize Key, so let's maybe try that edit mesh. Okay, that's the that's the back, so let's grab that. E offset. Mesh. Something like that. Let's just check size wise. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do now is let's. Grab these and hit W. Make sure I've not got any extra faces selected. Find shift and just drag in. So I've not got the indent of where those buttons are going to go. Let's bevel these edges as well. Three. And there we've got a nice clean position for our buttons to go. Give that another save quickly. Then let's just do a little indent for our face. So we're gonna grab this edge. B to bevel, let's bring that fraction in something like that. Face, click and double click there. Control E, extrude and bring that in. Then again, let's just transport any edges. Be to bevel. Okay, so then let's just sort out the back a little bit. So let's just connect up. These edges here. That's not, I've not got any weird stretch or anything. Same on here as well. So let's connect these up. Uh, 
I haven't got any weird like stretch or anything like that. Now we want to have our button, so let's give that a quick save first of all. I'm going to grab these faces here, shift right click and let's duplicate face. Extrude it out a bit. Hit that like control one just to isolate it. And then get back faces so we don't need them. Then let's grab all the outside edges. B to bevel to bring it in. Oops. There we go. Something like that. How far out do you want it to be? Let's bring that in a little bit more. That's quite easy to do. All you've got to do is grab those vertices with W and just move them. In a little bit, yeah, something like that. You can do the same. These as well. So let's grab those. Shift right click. Go to duplicate face. Again, let's just delete these black faces because you're not going to see them, so we don't want to. Bother with them. I'm going to grab top vector faces, get B to bevel, two segments, and bring it in a bit tighter. Something like that. And then I'm just going to make that a little bit. Shorter as well. Let's just grab those vertices. Do something like that. Okay. And the last thing to do in terms of the model of the actual watch, rather than the strap, give it a quick little save, is the battery that goes on the back of it. So that is quite easy. We're just going to grab. A cylinder, so remember up there or create polygon primitive cylinder or hit that space, create polygon primitive and cylinder. I'm going to go to back and I'm just going to hide this for a second. Grab my cylinder. E. J to bring it up. And let's just drag it up bigger. Again, faces we're not going to see. I'm just going to delete some of down tab and just paint select all of those. Click that, control B. Oh, I need to get it down, make it quite a bit smaller. I think I might want to do slightly. In. Yeah, and then let's bring that back to the watch. smaller okay that would look maybe a little bit smaller Yeah, 
that would be about right. Then I can like make that big by accident. There you go. That looks more like it. So at the minute, remember we give it an all smooth preview just so we can see how it's all going to look. Okay, keep that a quick save. Then last thing to do is have a go at doing these straps. So for that, I made sure I was going to hide that, and then I've brought in a different plane, good so I could get the length right with the straps. So let's come to this view here. And then what we'll do is let's use the cube, come up, move this back out of the way. Oh, X-ray mode. Let's just drag that so we know. That's going to be. Bring that down. Let's bring that in slightly. Like that. X-ray, bring it up. We'll start adding in some geometry so we can actually start to shape it a bit more. Good R just to go to scale and bring in. Okay, so that's the overall shape. Let's duplicate that for a second. Let's move it to the side and hide it. Then what I'm going to do is let's grab these and bevel. So we've got that sort of roundness to all. Then let's grab these edges. This shirt got no sort of like weird light or anything like that. Okay. Right. 
some of these are uh, in scale out slightly. See how that looks. Duplicate that, bring it down, E and rotate. Let's then do the holes for the watch. Grab this and bring it down a bit more. Then let's add in some more edges. And let's grab. E, place it off, offset, bring it in, edit mesh, circularize, bring those, give it there, and hit delete. Obviously, that will then make it into circles. Turn X right off. Control 1 to hide. Now we want to have that the same on both sides. So what we're going to do is mirror. So let's do a multi cut down the middle, and we can join there as well. Just use multi cut and just joining there and there. Okay, and then we want to get rid of. right side so let's go to face select control delete and then let's deep v just so we can move the edge the axis there right click go to mirror object z Let's then grab those, mesh, combine. Edit mesh, merge. We should be able to get rid of that edge with the candy. Okay, and that last thing to do is to join these together. So I'm going to hold them down, hold shift, and drag them. So right now, let's do it a different way. Let's do it. Let's grab that. W. Drag into position there. Use target weld. Vertices, wrap away around. I give us a quick save so I don't lose anything. Just rinse and repeat. So I'm going to grab those W, food, target weld. There are other ways you could do this as well. You could bridge and those types of things as well. Just I've started doing it this way now, so I'm going to stick with it. As I think we might, there is loads of different ways of doing the same job. It's just sort of trial and error which ones work, which ones don't.
to extrude that by the way all i'm doing is holding down shift and then moving it that was a feature that came in my 2022 i think maybe 2021 so if you're on a slightly older version you might not have that so you just have to do Control e keyboard shortcut to extrude it's a very useful improvement they made so i'll just hit w there and i'll just that shift and just extrude and i can just extrude it that way rather than go on Control e and then dragging it Okay, so I've now got all of those there, so what we can do more copy to bevel that's more hit three. Oh, I've missed. Here as well. There we go. Got nice clean holes on both sides. And then I think last thing to do really let's Vertex, grab that R, and I'm going to scale it in a bit. Yeah, so that side is done, then up here. We just want to do the actual strap bit, so I'm going to do it slightly different, but I'm going to do it like a traditional sort of watch strap. So, what I'm going to do. Grab that, multi cut, I'll do something like that. E, bring that offset in, and it mesh, both rise, bring that offset in. And much exactly the same way as we did with the other holes. Well, let's try and see if this works. Let's go with those. Got it mesh bridge. Oh yeah, so the bridge one did work fine as well. Okay. Then let's do a cylinder. Bring it up. Oh, not to square back then. Let's do a cylinder. E to rotate, hold on J, snap it into position. Hard scale. And then just try to, there we go. Then bring that in a bit. Copy my card. No, I'll probably leave that like that actually. Then let's grab a 
square. We'll just sort of free hand in this idea. Okay, so let's just something like that. Jeez. To bevel. So D to do paint. Across. Then let's grab one more cube. In position. Let's just grab those edges. Like that, and the last little bit is to have the actual cut out bit. So let's do quick little save, whereas I probably should have done this before, I've done all the, the shading, but let's try it, hopefully it works, okay, let's point cut, beef bevel, bring the fraction in a bit, something like that. Bring thickness in a bit. Let's just see how this looks. Might need to add some extra. Yeah. That might work better. Let's try. Don't think I need to have that thing white so big there, so let's make that a bit more. Oh, and bring that. Up as well. That looks more like it.
nearly done. Let's just grab cylinder. Need to rotate. Okay, it's that position. Bring this down. Path scale. And let's keep saying this because my computer seems to be lagging a little bit. I don't want to lose anything. That would be super annoying. And then just gonna grab that and let's just mesh and combine for a second. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's undo that second edit. Yep. Grab that then. There we go. So I think modeling side of things we're done. Let's give that a quick little save. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Let's just grab all that mesh, combine actually pre transmission and make history, bring it up. The last thing to do really then is I'm going to bend these straps a little bit so let's probably need to add a few more edge loops just to give it some more bend
that one's fine and then i imagine this one yeah that's fine as well so let's save i'm gonna grab using a bind mesh bind and deform non-linear bend see what's going on I guess we're going to need to rotate our deformer. There we go. Right, so let's. I'm going to bend it like that, but then bring it down a bit more. Something like that. realize that I forgot to put this in position so let's do that Yeah, we've got a bit of deforming there, so I'm going to just add a few things in a minute. So let's do the deform first. So let's go to deform, bend, Let's leave it at that. Let's then select all that. The history, pre transformations, that gets rid of it. And the last thing I want to do is just fix that bit there. I mean, you probably wouldn't see much of it, but let's. First of all, actually. Mesh, separate. So we're gonna join those up. So let's multi-cut. Just manually. Put this in. Let's join it around to the side as well. We definitely want to see the other side, but we'll know. We'll know.
say on this side. Things like that, you won't even notice it's a completely flat surface. But the general rule of thumb, you always want to make sure that the vertices are essentially like going somewhere, if that makes sense. So not just, it doesn't just like end. See how that works. What if I just did that? That looks better. Let's just remove that vertice then. There, there you go. That looks much, much better. Right. Take a little look. Right, so to say, we are finished with the modeling side of everything. Got everything so we need preview. So let's see what it's going to look like. Okay. One last save. Select it all. Okay, so we'll stop with the modeling side of things. In the next part, what we're going to do is have a go at unwrapping it, and then we'll go to, to mom set and have a go at texturing it. Okay, so now we're going to have a go at unwrapping everything. So we're going to select everything, just delete history again, pre transformations, the UV, and delete UVs. Let's go UV and UV editor. Like I said, it's in every Maya video, but it's definitely easier with dual monitors, but for this video we'll do it as a single one. So let's start up here. Let's just turn off. And then right up here, control one, create and rebased. There's nothing that's gonna be massively complex. Let's these edges here. Shift, right click and go to cut. And then unfold. And let's just stitch that bit together there. We've got a bit of overlapping, which we don't want. There we go, that's better. Right, let's stitch together. There we go. Excuse me. And we thought we've got the same on the other side rather than heaving that one. Let's just delete that. Don't need to duplicate and just bring that across. So there's no sense in wrapping the same thing twice. Create camera based.
Okay. Let's work our way around. Most of these are just pretty easy shapes to do. It isn't always worth stitching together, so these bits here I didn't stitch together, which is fine. So I'll leave that. So we've got that's done. Let's grab this. In fact, I don't even need. Spaces because it's not going to get seen, so we just delete those. So that means all we need to do is grab that, cut, and hold. Create and camera based. If you've got good topology, it definitely makes unwrapping quite a bit easier. That should, that should be done. Okay, hopefully that is then all done. Okay.
done on this bit. So let's I know what's going to take the longest bit is this strap that's got the holes in it. The only one that's going to take like that long. I think I missed a couple of edges, so let's just grab that and there we go, that's better. an edge somewhere in here as well I feel so let's grab there and somewhere in here as well so I'm just missing no, I think we're okay there. Okay, so that one is done. Let's then grab our button. Same down here. Okay, so last thing on that model of that tree. <laughs> last one is this one. Get a few more. Got to do with this one. Let's do the overall outside first. And then Just making sure we come in and grab each one of these. Okay, so 
Hopefully, if all has gone well, that should be done. Let's then bring everything back. Let everything, the shells, modify, and layout. Let's then turn on chicken work. And it looks like everything is unwrapped by. So actually, that wasn't too bad. The last thing really to do then is just to add a uh, color or material ID. Let's just give that a quick save. And I'm going to bring back that. But let's just smooth everything for S actually. Go mesh smooth. So that's lucky I'm going to do a second. Mesh. Yeah, it looks better. Mesh, smooth. The more subdivisions you do, the smoother it will look, but then it will also start to slow down rendering because it'd be a lot more to process so trying to keep it as low as possible is generally quite good to do it depends what it's for if it's like games and stuff that it needs to be but if it's just like pretty renders then it doesn't actually matter that much So yeah, and now it's just adding material ID. So let's check those, right click, go to Lin. Pull that straps and I'll give it colour like that. Let's these ones call it clip battery And the last thing we want to do is make sure we've got a screen as well. So let's start rubbing that because obviously that needs to be a different material. Let's call that screen. Okay, so we are completely unwrapped. We're completely modeled and we've got our material ID. So all that's have to do is jump over to Marmoset to have a go at texturing. So let's give that a quick save. Let's just Delete history and pre-transformations one more time. 
gonna check you these are all good still yep oh all we're gonna do now file export and then let's go to desktop record it apple watch okay now last part of the video we're going to jump over to marmoset to have a go at texturing okay so we're now in marmoset and i have just put in my model and baked all the maps in there i'm not going to go over that in this part of the video um because it's a bit boring really um but if anyone would like a little sort of beginner setup for marmoset i'm very happy to put a video together so if you let me know but i think it's a bit, a bit of a waste of time on these longer maya tutorials so let's first of all come and put sky in so typically what i'll do is put three point lighting in and turn ambient collision on for a second and then bring the brightness down like that just so i know what sort of light we're working with and I'm just going to turn that off for now. Okay, so let's give that a save. Got Apple Watch. So let's start with our rubber. Let's have a look. I don't want to touch you there. Let's start with rubber straps. Okay. So is that one or the other one we've got? Is it rubber mats? So we've got that one or that one. Which one do we think looks better? I'll leave that one. We'll leave that one there still, but we might change it later. That's okay. Then let's go materials, metal, where are we? Metal, metal, metal. And then we'll go there as well. Okay, so we'll leave that like that. And then let's go to the screen. We want like a glossy, so let's go like plastic. And let's Bring that black metalness turn up. Yeah, there you go. And then let's do the clips. Change that color slightly. Something like that. Okay, let's see how we're looking. Now 
and then let's add some graphics back to that screen. Let's give it a quick save. Let's go to screen, uh, paint layer. Okay, let's what's that look? Okay, we want to add some missiveness to that, though, don't we? So let's okay. Let's quickly just add a missive. How does that look? Can you add? Oh, you can. Excellent. I feel like I'm off a little bit there. Let's. Any other angle. Looks like it needs to go. Something like that. Okay, so we're pretty much finished. Let's have a little once over of what we've got. Right, let's just go again. Okay, we need this quick little save. I'm just in the habit of constantly saving just in case something goes wrong. Right, let's take that and graph and do that and then see what do we. Well, that's the one that's got like no imperfections, basically, isn't it? I think that's probably bad because it's got a bit more contrast to it. Let's then just to add in a bit more. Let's go to screen. Let's add I think best thing to do. Let's add dirt. First of all, let's do mask. Add some dirt. Let's go like fingerprints so much as that's why. Like that. And I've got a paint left, or a fill left. Let's do fill layer. And let's make that grey gungy sort of colour. Black mask. Dirt. And then let's do that. So let's go to library. Uh, yeah, that's a bit better. So it's the same on the buttons. Do some pairs, put a bit of rust. Let's 
mask that Intensity down. If I don't really, really sat up, it wasn't super obvious. And I'm just. Gonna change the strap. Yeah. The clip, I'm not a fan of that clip, so let's have a look. What if we do like that? That's probably a bit better actually. Mm. That's Yeah, let's leave it at that, otherwise I'm going to keep tinkering for ages. Okay, so we will stop there. Let me just give that one a save. So that's looking. So there we go. So that is the end of modeling Apple Watch and Texture. Hope you found that useful and interesting. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below or email me at design with Simon at outlook.com.